Hi, this is a video to demonstrate the fakery of general ultrafire batteries that you will find on Amazon and eBay, etc. I am charging two of these ultrafire batteries. Um, actually, just to back up a bit, I bought four of these not too long ago, and I bought them for testing purposes just to see how far off they were from what they actually say they are. Now you can see the battery here. It says Ultrafire 118650 uh, and it says 6800 milliamp hours on it at 3.7 volts. They both, they, they both say the same thing. I've got four of these batteries but I'm just charging two of them at the, at the moment uh, just for demonstration. But again it says 6800 mAh which is absolutely ridiculous because they don't even make an 18650 battery over about 30, uh, 3600 mAh, I believe, is about the top uh, that uh, the top capacity that 18650s are made with right now. So anything that says over and above 3600 is 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 an absolute lie. But anyway, so these are on the charger, and they've only been on here a few minutes. So let's see what we read down here. First of all, when I put these on the charger, the one here on the far left read 3.309, 3.9 volts, and the one on the right read uh, 3.5 3 volts. As you can see, they're both up to 4.3 volts at this time they have only been on here for let's see they've only been charging for 16 minutes that's how long they've been charging for 16 minutes and they've gone from just over 3 volts to now up to 4 volts so the point of this demonstration and oh by the way I set them at a thousand MAs so that's the current that's going into them thousand MAs is going into each battery so anyway and this one is now at 403 and this one's at 404 and they've only been on here for about 15 minutes so they're charging very fast and the fact that it's already up to 4 volts would tell you that there is that they are a long way off from being the capacity that it says on the battery long way off from being 6800 milliamps um, or having 6800 milliamp hours so uh, that's where they are at the moment what I'm going to do is pause the video and come back for when they've actually finished the charge and we'll see where they have ended up at the voltage where they've stopped at and um, so you see right now each of them has 280 milliamp hours actually put into them at this time 282 at the moment and it says 6800 on it can you figure out the math there that they are not far from being done because they are at 4.5 volts 4.2 would be the absolute maximum uh, amount of volts that you would put into any of these batteries they're now at 4.5 so uh, you know anyway it's true fakery but anyway let us pause the video and come back and see what happens when they are completely done and we'll see where we are at that point okay here we are we are back and the batteries are now full and you can see that they have, they have both reached their capacity. So uh, let's see where we're going with this. As I hit the display button, first of all, and I can't I can't leave it on these. It just I can't leave it on these on these uh, amounts here. It just it just goes right back again. But um, you know I'll try my best. Um, um, so anyway, it took 50 minutes. Okay, this is a little bit annoying, but anyway, uh, it took 50 minutes, 52 respectively, for the other battery uh, to charge uh, that particular battery. Uh, so that was less than an hour at 1,000 milliamps. And 
the ending voltage was 415 and 417. Boy, that doesn't stay on long, does it? 415 and 417 was the, the ending voltage. Not too bad. And the amount of... I just went past it there. I wanted to sort of be a little bit suspenseful on that. The amount of milliamp hours that were put into the battery are 600 and 591 respectively. 600 milliamp hours over here and 591 over here. Let's do that once more, shall we? 600 and 591. That is obviously less than a thousand. And yet, what do the batteries say they're supposed to hold? 6,800. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? 6,800. But, in fact, they took less than 1,000. And they were down at 3.9 and 3.6 when I put them in there. And uh, that's about as low as you can go. Um, I had actually discharged them down to uh, about 2.59 before putting them on here, but they bounce right back up again. Um, after the uh, discharge was finished. So again, that is what you get with an ultrafire battery most of the time. You will not get anything closely related to what they actually say on the battery you're supposed to get capacity wise. 60591. If you use this in an LED if you use these in an LED flashlight, they will not last very long at at less than a thousand milliamps they will need recharging uh, rather quickly after you've used them they'll drop out very quickly within the device and um, over time that'll just get worse if you keep using them and using them and using them and recharging them over time they'll actually hold less and less charge and um, have more of a have, have a harder time actually charging and uh, it's amazing people on Amazon and uh, you know people buy them and they leave comments about them and they say they're wonderful a lot of the times but they just don't realize what's actually going on with them and they don't realize what kind of um, how they're getting cheated with these batteries and uh, the kind of, uh, and here's the other thing as I say this took um, this took less than an hour to charge Whereas uh, they'll buy these batteries and they'll buy these cheap chargers that come with them as well. And those cheap chargers will actually take upwards of a day to charge these batteries. Even though their capacities are so low, the cheap chargers they buy will take 10 hours, 12 hours, 15 hours, whatever, to charge these batteries. Because obviously they don't charge them at nearly high, at, at nearly a high, you know, at high enough a current. I mean, I charge them at a thousand milliamp hours. Those other chargers charge them at much less, probably 200 milliamp hours or something thereabouts. I mean, if they're taking almost a day to do it, and uh, you know, the capacities being what they are. Anyway, that's your Ultra Fire battery. I would stay away from them as much as I possibly can. Do not buy them, do not believe them, and uh, buy yourself some quality batteries, will you? Thank you so much.